In this section, I'd like to explain the non-homogeneous boundary value problems. As an example of non-homogeneous boundary value problems, we add the single terms in heat equations of Fx. First case, we consider time-independent non-homogeneous equations. So capital F is a function of X alone. So it's not a function of t. Heat equations, k is a positive quantities. As a initial condition, u is given by the fx. f is a function of x. As a boundary condition, u becomes the u sub 0. At the x equals 0, and the u becomes the u sub 1. At the x equals capital L. To solve the, this equation, we change our variables. We introduce a new variable, so u is expressed equal v plus c. The c is uh, only the function of x. The original problems turn to be the following two problems. First problem is the uh, ordinary differential equations. k c 2 primes plus capital F x is equal to the zero. So in these equations, we have only single independent variables of the x as a boundary condition. C equal u sub zero at the x equal zero and the C equal u sub one at the x equal L. And the second problem is the equation for the V. Round v round t equal k times second derivative of v with respect to x. As an initial condition, v becomes a fx minus cx. So because the u is given by the sum of the v and the c, so initial condition is modified. When you apply for the v, fx minus c. And for the boundary condition, v becomes a 0 at the x equal 0. And the v also becomes 0 at the x equal capital L. Because the value is given to the c. By introducing the new variables, we create the two problems from the single problems. If you sum up the, these two equations, you can find the original equations for the u. Then we'd like to solve the each problem separately. So first problem is the ordinary differential equation to find the solution of the C. We integrate the ordinary differential equation two times and apply the boundary condition to determine the two integration constant. Then we could find out the solution of the C as a function of x. Once you find the solution of the C, you can substitute into the problem tools. So this C you can substitute. Then solve the partial differential equations for V using the initial condition and the boundary conditions. Then we'd like to solve the, this partial differential equation using the same method we use. So by solving the partial differential equation under the boundary condition, we find that the solution for V expressed with a sine function to satisfy the boundary conditions. Then we can apply the initial condition to find out A sub n as we have done before. Then A sub n is expressed with the initial condition for the V. Fx minus C, this is the initial value for the V. Then using the, this a sub n, you can substitute back into the, this equations. We can find the solution for b. Once you find out the solution for the b, you can find out the u. Solution of the heat equations is expressed the sum of the, this is a v, function of the x and t, plus c. c is a solution of the problem once. This is the first method to solve non-homogeneous boundary value problems. Then I'd like to explain the other case. In the second case, non-homogeneous boundary value problems too. We consider time-dependent non-homogeneous equations. Capital F is a function of x and t. When the function of the F is a function of the x alone, 
we can apply the first method I explained, but when the capital F is a function of x and t, we cannot use uh, the method I explained. Then we have to use a different method. I'd like to explain the standard method to solve the non-homogeneous boundary value problems. So as the initial conditions, u is equal to the fx. As the boundary conditions, it becomes a zero at the boundaries. To solve the, this equation, we express the solution and f by the series expansion of the sine function. We choose uh, this sine and pi over Lx to satisfy the boundary conditions. So boundary condition is given by the, this equation. If we choose a sine n pi over Lx, it's automatically satisfied the boundary condition. We expand function of the u using the Fourier series, and the coefficient of the u sub n is a function of the t. So using the same method of the expansions, we expand also the capital F using the sine functions, sine n pi over Lx, and the coefficient is expressed f sub n and the function of t. Then substitute these equations into the original differential equation. Original differential equation, left hand side is equal to round u round t. So u sub n is a function of t, so derivative is just only apply to the coefficient of the u sub n. And the right hand side is a k times the second derivative of the u with respect to x. So because of the derivative of the sine functions, we have a negative times this square of the n pi over f. And substitute the f is a f sub n sine n pi over lx. Then comparing the both sides of the equation, coefficient have to be equal in the both sides of the equation. Then we obtain the equation for the u sub n. This is the ordinary differential equation. Independent variable is t. Then solve the, this ordinary differential equation and apply the initial condition. Then we have a solution of the u sub n as a function of t. Then substitute back into the equation for the u. You can find the solution of the original boundary value problems. I explain the basic idea to solve a non-homogeneous boundary value problems in these sections. This is the end of this session.